If you're a business owner looking to expand your reach, serve more people, increase your audience, and expand your revenue, the way to do it is to solve more problems. I want to help you see something profound about the power of the positioning of a business owner to solve problems for everyone else. If you're familiar with Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant, you know that there's four types of people in terms of how you make your income. Now, the quadrant is a cross, like up and down and to the side, and there's four quadrants. The upper left is the employee, that's an E. This person is needing, has a job, they trade time for dollars, and they're in a position where their income comes from wages from a job. The self-employed person, an S, is at the bottom left-hand quadrant. And they are somebody who is in a professional type of service arrangement where they are not working W-2, they're not earning W-2 income from an employer, but they are providing services through their own business. But the business is contingent upon them. So if they stepped away from the business, there wouldn't be a business. Now, if you think about maybe an attorney, uh, doctors often, maybe chiropractors, CPAs, often they are the skilled professional offering services and they are the business. Now, on the upper right-hand quadrant, you have a B for business owner. Now, this is a person who owns the means of production. What do I mean by that? They're a person who controls a business entity. Now, this is bigger than just themselves. They literally have a self-sustaining business that if they walked out or stepped away for a month or two, the business would continue to fully be functional and operate. This means the employees know what to do, income would continue to come in, the business owner is not the sole person who all the business is contingent on. Now at the bottom right quadrant is an I. This is the investor. This is a person who has capital to deploy and they're looking for assets to put that money into that will bring them returns. Now when we look at the positioning of the business owner in the upper right, they are providing solutions to the problems of all of the other three types of people. The employee needs a job and the business owner can supply that job. That is the way that the employee is going to make their income so that they can eat. Now, the self-employed person, as I mentioned, the skilled practices like doctors, accountants, CPAs, attorneys, they are employed by business owners who need to have that strategy surrounding their business so that they can continue to move forward. If we then look at the investor, they want a good place to put their capital that's going to bring a return for them, and that is usually in some kind of a business. Now, I want to clear up one misconception because I think a lot of times you think, if I'm going to invest in real estate, that means I'm just an investor. But if you are building a real estate portfolio, you truly are a business owner. And if you think of your operation as a business owner, you'll be poised to bring in more revenue and serve more people. You might be providing jobs to the people who work in your company and jobs to other outside vendors in the skilled services profession that are self-employed, like maybe title companies or mortgage professionals and attorneys and CPAs. You're also the person that is using the private capital of the investor to be able to put to work so that they can grow their portfolio and yours. The business owner who runs an operation that's bigger than themselves and works themselves out of a job so that they are no longer the sole person that is running the business and the business is completely dependent on is a true business owner building a self-sustaining business. The other way this business owner is solving problems is they're solving problems in the marketplace with the audience or the vendors and the customers of that business. So when it comes to real estate, you're providing housing to people who need housing. Usually they're looking for clean, affordable, and safe housing. There's going to be many different definitions and ranges of that depending on what type of customer that is, but you are providing a need that they have. You're solving a problem. If you can become so intently clear on solving problems for other people and putting money in the pockets of other people, the employees, the self-employed, the investors, and your audience, your customers, you will be successful. You will grow a business. You will grow your audience. You will expand your business and you will increase your revenue. Hey, thanks for watching. I really hope you liked this video. 
If you did, click the link in the description box below for more information. Like this video, share your comments, questions, and feedback in the comments section, and don't forget to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel.